What is going on, Bold Nation? I am Laserbolt, and welcome to another DMZ Guide video. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to do the left high and dry. Definitely one of the funnest missions to do within the tier two redacted missions. And this one's actually pretty tricky. I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to tell you guys the fastest way to actually do this and the most effective way to actually get this done. Also, guys, if you need help with this mission or anything of other other missions, we stream on YouTube, Twitch, and Kick. Links are down below, so make sure you guys check this out whenever you guys get a chance. And let's talk about the left high and dry. So the left high and dry is going to have you do three tasks. Number one, trade a, trade for a skeleton key in either Al Masra, Ashika Island, or Building 21. I'm going to tell you guys what's the best method I found to actually do this. Then from there, you're going to have to use a skeleton key to unlock the sniper team's hideout in Octar Village. I'm going to show you guys exactly where the exact location is for this and what's inside. And then from there, you're going to have to extract the deals you found inside. That's going to reward you a really cool looking emblem. And it's also going to reward you 15,000 XP. So let's go ahead and talk about the best method to do this. The best method I found to do this, guys, is to make sure you have a secure backpack. Because that's going to allow you guys to extract it with a GPU wherever you go. Now, doing it in Almazra and finding the GPU takes a long time. I found that the best way is the Sheikah Island and Building 21. So for Ashika Island, you want to make sure you have a secure backpack. Or you, can, you can actually make one while you're there. And once you guys are in Ashika Island, all you got to do is get a key that allows you to open the locker rooms within the task, uh, the castle, right? So you're looking for the castle key that unlocks the weapon stash. So you want to make sure you have that key. If you don't have that key, I don't know if the skeleton key actually opens it, but you might want to give it a try if you already have a skeleton key. Now, with that being said, you're going to want to make sure you go in there. And usually there's always a GPU found within these containers. So you want to make sure you open these up in these weapons crates. And once you open it up, you'll find a GPU. If you find a GPU, put it in your secure backpack and you should be good to go. Now, once you have the GPU, you want to exfil and head over to Almazar because the conversion rate in Almazar is all you need for a skeleton key is a GPU. Now, if you're doing Building 21, Building 21 is actually pretty good. But getting to the buy station in Building 21 can be a little bit tricky. What you want to do is just find three encrypted hard drives and you should be able to get a skeleton key. Now, with that being said, once you have the GPU, head over to Almazra and head over to a buy station. Once you're in a buy station, go ahead and transfer the GPU in the bartering system and convert that to a skeleton key. Once you have the skeleton key, you're going to want to make sure you head on to Actor Village. Now, in Actor Village, it's going to be located right in front of the statue. So if you've done any of the missions from um, the previous missions, you know exactly where the statue is, where you pick up the bomb and you got to go drop it off. It's literally right in front of it. I'm showing you guys the exact location right here. Once you locate this area, all you got to do is open a door with the skeleton key. And with inside, you'll find a really good amount of really good loot. Now, within that loot, there's going to be a dozier found on top of the table. Pick up the dozier. And all you got to do after that is just exfil and run to an exfil and get your way out of there as quickly as you possibly can. And that is how you complete the left high and dry mission. I hope you guys are finding these videos helpful and informative. If you are doing the huge favor, guys, drop a comment, drop a like. But most importantly, subscribe to the channel, turn on all your notifications, and stop by and check us out on YouTube, Twitch, or Kick if you need help with any of these missions. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.